Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode, we met the ladies of the wood, who, by description, should have been some gross crones, some gross witches. But no, they were some hot ladies trapped in a painting, or at least they said they weren't trapped in a tapestry. But I get the feeling that they're lying a little to us. I don't know. Maybe you guys get the same feeling. Um, now, we need to talk to the Elderman of Downwarren about the village's problem, which apparently is a dark evil, which we definitely will talk about in a second here. But, first things first, I want to talk to this merchant. If he will get up, or if he... Can we meditate anywhere? Uh, let's meditate until 12 p.m. Maybe there will even be a blacksmith. I do know that people do have schedules. Sometimes the blacksmiths don't appear if it's in the middle of the day. Uh, but we do need to find a blacksmith. What is the point of having a door here? <laughs> what the hell? All right, what's up? Milk, freshly curdled milk. Eggs straight from the coop. Nary a trace of shit on them. Wow, now that makes me want to buy some eggs. Nary a trace of shit on them. You're speaking my language, sir. What are you selling? Show me what you sell. Okay, this guy doesn't have anything. Wow, look at that. Um, is this food and drink too? How much does this cost? Five? Okay, we'll buy all the bread, I, I suppose, and all the food items so that we have stuff to eat. Can be sold to merchants or dismantled in crafting components. Okay. Um, yeah, people were also selling that I can sell, and of course, yeah, I know I can sell, but I just don't think that I'm going to really have anything of value at the moment uh, in order to make a decent penny. Let's clear out all these stars. I hate these stars. I always see them, I'm like, get them out, please. They must be gone. There we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, before we actually try to take down this dark force, this dark presence, which I think I remember what it is, but I actually don't know. Um, also, Gwent, a lot of you said that you didn't want to see any Gwent, and uh, I, I will probably not do any Gwent, in all honesty, just because, yeah, we'd have to do basically a 100% playthrough in order to get all of the Gwent cards, and we need to get some of the Gwent cards in order to beat other Gwent players, so I think we'll just put Gwent to the wayside completely, at least in the in the time being. Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right? Boy, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Master, I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Find out what's killing villagers from Down Warren. Well, I don't... Oh, there is a signboard. Thank God. Okay, I think we'll return to somewhere let's see what's gonna have a oh we can just travel to um we can travel to white orchard that would be an easy place oh it looks like there's a blacksmith in mid cops though right is that a blacksmith armor's table grindstone well there's got to be a blacksmith then right or does what does that say is that the blacksmith armorer huh do we really need to return to crow's perch it's always super annoying going to crow's perch because yeah, I guess we do. Or we could go to Oxenfurt. Is there an armorer here? Innkeep. 
But there's there has to be an arm. Well, oh, okay, screw it. We'll just go to Crow's Perch because I know exactly where the armorer is. The, the tricky thing with The Witcher 3 is that, yeah, seriously, sometimes it just won't show certain um, certain elements on the map. Uh, for instance, yeah, a town may have a blacksmith, but they might be sleeping, and it just doesn't show you the icon. I feel like with this game specifically, see, that's fine for Skyrim and Fallout and things like that because you know everybody's on a schedule. You know that the way that they have shops is that they show you there's like a certain area in each town where there is a signboard that shows you what kind of shop it is, you know? So if you're looking for an alchemist, you just need to find that cup-looking thing, right? But in The Witcher, the towns aren't so well laid out, which is a good thing, you know, because they each have their own persona. It's just that I just wish The Witcher, my point is, I just wish The Witcher on the maps would show you where the armor was at all time, or at least where he's supposed to be, and not make it disappear if it's at nighttime or what have you. How may I assist you? Okay, so we're gonna do some wouldn't mind a look at your stock upkeep here first and foremost we need to sell all these garbage oh that sword's actually better okay so the first thing before we talk to this guy actually is we need to go to our inventory and see if anything is an upgrade so yeah this steel sword is an upgrade to whatever steel sword we have at the moment i think anyways wild hunt warrior sword why is this golden does that mean it's unique Magic item. Is that why it's golden? Because it has magic plus 10 armor piercing? Oh, because it has a rune stone. See, I don't know if this is unique because... Whatever. There's no unique weapons in this game, is there? I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, okay, so let's sell all of these crappy swords here. So this is a master item, and that's why it's blue. And I'm not sure what master item means. I thought it was that once we have it, we never have to craft it again. But that would make sense for an equipable sword, would it? Uh, and this is yellow because it's magic, apparently. So, let's sell this. Right? It's not telling me how, how it compares to this one. 40 to 50 damage, minus 2. Whatever that little insignia there is. 40 to 50 damage, plus 2% critical hit chance. So, why would this be worse? Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on, but either way. Um... All right, so that's equipped. We have the best steel sword equipped at the moment. And then what are these for? Hatchet secondary weapon? Where does this go? Oh, it's our steel weapon. Interesting. And apparently it is better. Plus 12 attack? Okay, well, I guess we'll use this. And what is this, a blackjack? Yeah, but this is worse. And bolt with bait. And I suppose we can equip these as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, nothing has a rune stone. So we have armor as well. Hunting gauntlets are better than whatever gauntlets we have at the moment. And then a lesser glyph. We don't have any rune stone um, slots available. So that's pretty much it. That's the best armor and weapons that we have right now. Which is terrible. Those things suck. But maybe we can get a little better stuff here. Wouldn't mind a little. Okay, now let's go ahead and sell things first and foremost. Uh, I'm gonna sell the Wild Hunt Warrior Sword. I'm assuming this is not unique. It's just the yellow, the gold is making me think like legendary item, unique item, because so many games have that coloration mean that, but I don't think so. So we'll sell this and we're gonna get 31 gold for it, which is not a lot. We're gonna get four gold for that. Five, five, 18. What is this? Art sign intensity. We'll sell the glyphs too, because like I said, they're pretty weak. Uh, we'll sell that for gold and that. 2% sign intensity. No, thank you. 10 armor piercing. That's kind of good. Oh, we do have boots, but we need a we need an armor rune, so that's not going to work on that. Um, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. That's, that's his inventory. My bad. So yeah, let's sell these. And can we sell these bolts as well? We cannot sell these bolts. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else can we sell? Potions. Uh, we're going to keep all of our potions. We're going to keep all of our food and drink. And we can sell some materials, but it's not going to be that worth it. Okay, so we currently have 662 gold. Now, what does this guy have? Let's see. That's not anything. Hunting boots is an upgrade. But I don't think it's going to be worth the 200 gold. The 
one third almost of our gold that we have. Yeah, we're looking for swords more than anything. And it looks like he doesn't have any swords because this is all the stuff that we sold him. Okay, so what if we go to crafting? We'll see if we can make anything. We're going to be missing components. Oh, cured leather. All right. So, yeah, there's a big crafting system in this game. I don't think we're going to get too much into it, at least not now. I do remember um, I 100% of this game, and I feel like there was definitely a crafting component to 100%ing the game. And I don't remember what it was, but I do remember crafting a lot of stuff. Uh, but we need more manifests or diagrams, I think they were called, to enable us to craft some more interesting things. Now, how much is this going to cost to repair? Repair equipped. What does that do? 239. That doesn't seem that bad. And what else does he have? He can remove upgrades. That's if we have glyphs. He can remove them, I suppose. And then dismantle. We can dismantle junk, I, I guess, into things. Okay, I, I guess we'll just repair everything, because this is going to cost us 137 by itself, and then everything else is going to be a little little more. So, yeah, we're, we'll repair everything, I suppose. And I do remember that people were saying that we want to buy, uh, like, repair kits. Is it this? Amateur's Armor Repair Kit. 15% of item durability restored. That doesn't sound like a lot to me. And it costs 38 gold, uh, 100 and something for all of them. There's no armor repair kits? I think we'll hold off on that just for now. I know a lot of you guys were telling me that I should buy those repair kits. But 15% so long. doesn't sound like a lot at all. Can we talk to this woman also? How can I help you? What are you selling? Let's see. What does she have? Looks like she sells armor. Spike Rug Akatin is a 40, per, uh, a plus 40 increase. My God. Required level six. Uh, we're just short of the amount of gold that we need for this, though. So it looks like that's not happening. Armor repair kit. Used for repairing armor. See, we're not so worried about the armor needing repairs. We're worried about the weapons needing repairs. So I don't think that's that great of a thing to buy at the moment. And I'm not seeing a, re a weapon repair kit anywhere. But, okay, it looks like we're done here. At least for now. Okay. Now, before we leave, we got to remember to grab this and this. Okay, so we're a little bit upgraded now. We've got this hatchet. Um, there's so many things that I either A, don't remember about this game, or B, have not seen because of the two DLCs. I 100%ed this game and beat it on the hardest difficulty in a separate playthrough before the DLCs had ever come out. Uh, I'll, actually, that's not true because I did play, like, they released, like, 15 free DLCs or something like that, although they were very small. Some of them gave you new quests, which was very nice, but most of them were just, like, uh, new hairstyles for Geralt. And they were actually pretty cool, though, for what they were. Um, first of all, they were free, so that's why, that's part of the reason everybody loves CD Projekt Red, but, uh, yeah, those are the only DLCs I played. Is he gonna give the line? Every single time. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've heard that. Okay, where are we heading to now? Find out what's killing the villagers from Down War. And looks like we're heading back to the Orphans of Crookback Bog. And then heading a little southeast. But yeah, I never played Blood and Wine and uh, the other thing. The, what was the stone something? I never played those DLCs, nor do I really know what they're about. I just know that everybody is saying they're amazing. Like, apparently they're the best thing since sliced bread. Um, so I'm definitely going to play them at some point. I don't know if on the channel. I don't know if anytime soon. I, I don't know just yet, but I do want to play them. Oh, come on. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even going to waste my durability on you guys just yet. To be honest, I completely forgot that there's durability in this game, and I feel like they could have gotten away without even using durability. Um, durability can be can be good in some instances, Looks I guess, like to rain. uphold a level of realism, but for this game, I feel like they didn't need that. Um, and my stuff be is gone. Jesus! Come no closer. I know a voice when you a come. tree. God, that scared me. That was like crazy loud in my ears. Find where the voice is coming from using your Witcher senses. Well, it looks like the powers that protect me. They sense whence you come. Kid. A kid. Gee, that's just, we just found a dead kid. Magic. A place of power. 
Okay, now if I remember right, that place of power is actually within the tree. So we need to find an entrance into the tree. And I, I think this gave me some trouble before um, trying to figure out how to get in here. Because that's where our quest is taking us. And it's also where the place of power is. So, maybe this little dotted line will take us there, though. Maybe it's taking us to the entrance here. Be gone. Be gone. Okay, we have, an, we have a werewolf here, which was kind of unexpected. The things with werewolves, again, is that they regenerate health. Jeez, we might have to run. I don't I don't even know if we can take on this thing. Actually. Yeah. Let's get out of here if we can. Oh, there's the place of power. It is actually outside. Okay, and we get one ability point. Let's go ahead and, and assign that. Uh, let's see. We still don't have another slot. When are we going to unlock another slot? Uh, slot unlocked at level 8. So two levels from now. Then 10, 12. So every two levels we get a slot. So uh, we'd have to basically just upgrade something that we already have. Now let's take a look here. How many? So that's one out of one. That's one out of one. And that's one out of one. Which means the only thing that we can upgrade is this. And we'll upgrade it to our to our maximum. Strong attack damage increased by 25%. Adrenaline point gain plus 5%. Okay. Now, we still need to find the entrance into this. You know what? Let's try to take down this werewolf. We do have Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt. And also, if we use Igni, that should stop health regeneration from what I remember. Oh, jeez. This guy's tough, though. Okay, let's use a water. That miss was integral. Oh no, now he's... Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Show yourself. I want to talk. Did we have to kill the werewolf? Oh no, here's the entrance. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. This noise is incredibly loud in my ears at the moment. Did Igni actually work? No, I think we need to go this way. Oh boy, swimming in The Witcher 3. The worst thing known to man. I'm trying to look for any and all chests in the bottom. Like that right there, yep. The Witcher 3 always hides chests. Oh, stop! See... Uh, the Witcher uh, swimming seriously in The Witcher Three is, is awful. Okay, yeah, uh, we want to look for any chests. I, I think I'm going to start doing that going forward, just because if we don't, uh, well, we do because it gives us diagrams, and later on we are going to pretty much have to find diagrams in order to upgrade our weapons and armor, like the stuff that you just buy from blacksmiths. I don't even know if I ever really did that like even once because the stuff that you actually craft from the diagrams are a hundred times better and interesting as well why have you come why fill this blood are you here to grant me death or is my freedom your wish Claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered and nemesis. I love them of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what to witness them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Really, please. I can't be a girl. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. You're worse. 
words alone, not enough. Didn't all be? But against you will rise all the powers of nature. Okay, so I didn't actually plan to make that choice right then and there. I don't remember what I did in my last playthroughs in this instance. I think in my first 100% playthrough, I saved this thing, and I think I kept most of the same decisions for the Death March just because it made the playthrough easier on the hardest difficulty. So I don't know if I've ever actually attacked this tree. Because, uh, for instance, here, like, it's making spiders attack me now, and that would have made it harder on Death March. But also, I saved it in the first playthrough. So that means I might have never actually attacked it. Um, like I said, I didn't mean to make that choice right then and there. I didn't think that was going to seal the deal. But it looks like we're going with that now, which I kind of like because I don't know what happens if I save this tree. So I guess we will see. Now, we've got Andragas, it looks like. Uh... Wow, fire damage is a lot to these things. And these guys suck. They're not dealing any damage to me. Okay, so let's attack the tree's heart, or do we have to wait? Looks like we are knocking... Oh, okay, here we go. Why are these things dealing, like, no damage to me at all? Tell the Alderman of Downworn you took care of the problem. The ghost in the tree. So I think, if I remember right, uh, when you first... Even even if... Well, okay, I'm not going to spoil what happens if you choose to save the tree. Because uh, I know some of you are playing along with me in this playthrough. And it is uh, interesting to make, you know, different choices for yourself. So I'm not even going to talk about what happens, yeah, if you, if you save it. Um, that's interesting, though. We did get a bestiary entry for that tree thing. There's werewolves. There's wyverns. There's harpies. But where is the... Is it cursed ones? Beasts? Cursed ones? Draconids? Elementa? Where is it? It said we got an entry for the, the cursed tree or whatever, but I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, it's not here. Huh. Is it, like, somewhere else? Characters? Books? Crafting? Is it in characters? Ah, it's probably characters, isn't it? The ghost in the tree. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you guys can read this if you would like to. I don't think it's going to tell us too much, though, other than we already know. Okay, so tell the alderman of Downworn you took care of the problem. Uh, we are very, very close. Looks like he's right out here. Yeah, I do not think I killed the tree, so I don't know what's going to happen moving forward. But I do remember it's not just black and white where if you save the tree, it's like, what a hero. Okay, well, thanks for saving me. Now I'm going to save everybody. You did a great thing. So it's, it's interesting either way that you choose. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where something lurking there. Not sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon.
here is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Yeah, I don't care what type of horrible spirit is haunting my village. Uh, if I have to give you an ear to get rid of it, you bet your ass I am moving out of that village. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Yeah. I absolutely love the design of the Crones of Crookback Bog. They're horrible looking, obviously grotesque, but I really, 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 really admire CD Projekt Red's, whoever designed these characters. I mean, they're just, they're beautiful in their disgustingness. You know what I mean? Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's before. We read beast in trails. For the omens, we would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the same seed that would burst into flame.
Sorry, guys. I can't even continue. I'm getting so turned on by the side of these, these crones. I really need to just stop this episode. Elder blood. Seriously, though, they're disgusting. <laughs> they're really horrible to look at. Yeah, no, not gonna come back when I could just infinitely dash in a direction. Which I'm pretty sure is not how it works when you're normally playing as Siri. That was the first flashback we saw, remember? Remember when she fell down into the wolves? The king of the wolves? The little kids? Remember all that? Good times. You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander mist fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, <laughs> this new and some night. <laughs> what horrible women! Tell Baron what you learned about Anna. So, yes, Gran was actually Anna the whole time. And I knew that. And I didn't even tell you guys. How does that feel? I betrayed you. Um, so, we have found Anna and also Tamara, his daughter and his wife. Well, his wife and his daughter. And we know more about Siri. So, in the next episode, we will definitely return to the Baron and inform him. Finish off his quest line. And then we're that much closer to finding Cirilla. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.
Sonne.